Good evening, folks. Good evening, good evening, good evening. I'm Alien Addict and welcome. Like, subscribe before you've even watched any of my content because that's the way I roll. Now, the recent news, why I'm putting my hands up in the air, I feel like it. The recent news that uh, Buzz Aldrin has passed the lie detector test that comes from none of Earth and the Daily Star, saying that he has, uh, you know, the fact that he believes that there's aliens up there and UFOs and what have you is completely true. And the four other astronauts that have seen it too, uh, there is... Uh, who is the now? Let's have a read of this. There's Al Warden, Edgar Mitchell, and Gordon Cooper. Now, there's a couple of little things that flag out there. One, Cooper died in 2004, and two, Mitchell died in 2016. However, the actual article that comes from none other than the Daily Star, the most reliable news source in the world, may I add, point checking fact checking whatever is on absolute crisp to the nipple it's beautiful yeah so yes they do state that these four astronauts have passed the lie detector test and two of them are snuffed it they've gone god bless the souls um yeah how well, if you actually read the article go down the most reliable source the daily star may add daily star this video is sponsored by <coughs> daily star um yeah if you read what it actually states it doesn't state how what some websites are stating that the daily star has said how can these two astronauts that have passed away have passed the lie detector test, test because this they've gone you know they're no longer with us um and rightly so Come on, get to the point, get to the point, alien addict, get to the fucking point. I'm feeling a little bit wired today. I haven't drank a drop, by the way, of alcohol. However, <laughs> I've had four coffees. I feel <laughs> on point. So, a little bit crazy today. But, if we go down the Daily Star page, such a... I love how the Daily Star doesn't have much advertisement. It's just, it's just there for you. If we look here, you see, voice recordings of the fellow NASA pioneers, Edgar Mitchell and Gordon Cooper, both died, were also analyzed. So Mitchell claimed to have seen several UFOs and Cooper actually described trying to chase a cluster of objects. That is interesting. It's interesting as hell. Daily Star or not, it is still interesting. I saw this story and I was like, what a load of baloney. And then when you look into it more and more, there might be something in this, I don't know. But Buzz Aldrin has not tweeted anything out about this that I've seen, and if he has, I've missed it. Um, so I'm taking it with a grain, a pinch, a pinchy grain of salt. So so should you. However, it is interesting. You, you have heard, everybody's seen, especially Buzz, talk about the um, things out there, the things that he believes, the, I believe the, the monolith. We should go boldly where man has not gone before. Fly by the comets, visit asteroids, visit the moon of Mars. There's a monolith there, a very unusual structure on this little potato-shaped object that, that goes around Mars once in seven hours. When people find out about that, they're going to say, who put that there? Who put that there? Well, uh, the universe put it there. If you choose. God put it there. And I ask myself why we're hearing so much about this now. We've seen all the DeLong stuff. Um, we've seen the Greer stuff. We're seeing a lot. 
You know, if I named everything, I'd be here all fucking day. But this, every UFO channel, every newspaper article, every online article, everything, documentaries, it's been mentioned everywhere, this. At some point, it's going to hit a spike and people are going to be like, oh, fuck. Hmm. Maybe aliens do exist. We have been visited by... I'm going to say UFOs and that might be a stupid thing to say because that's an unidentified flying fucking object. We have been visited by big colossal spaceships. Madness. Absolute madness. Or is it? Now... I'm one for madness, you know. I believe there's something in this whole alien conspiracy. I do, I do. Um, hence the alien addict. By the way, this is not for sale. My mate made me this. Though I may make t-shirts at some point. And other things. But, I, I wanna know your thoughts on this because Everybody is debunking everything. So, I've debunked loads. And now I'm kind of like, sometimes if you're gonna debunk it, you don't hit the first conclusion that you see, which everybody see, sees that Cooper and Mitchell have died, so therefore, the Daily Star's talking bollocks. Well, they've not done, they've not read the article properly for a start there, because, it, it play, it's plain as day, it says, and I'll defend the Daily Bra, Daily Star, on, on this because it states that it's a recording, that, they've, that this computer, this new software that, you know, is fucking amazing out of this world, um, it states that they, it's the voice recordings, you know, it's not stating that it's, they brought them back from the dead just to give them uh, a chuffing, um, what is it, one of them things, lie detector, yeah. And now this, I don't think this is the traditional lie detector test where you are strapped down with something in your arm and, you know, get electric shocks. <laughs> Where's it going guys? Where, where is it going? That's my question. Where is all this going? In 2000, and let me let me just pluck a fucking number from out my ass here. 2021. What will the headlines be then? Do you know what I mean? It's um, it's getting more and more bizarre. You got to ask yourself though. You got and um, ask yourself this question: Why is it? Why is it getting so bizarre? Why? What, why is it that we see all this? I'll give you the answer, and you're looking at it right now. YouTube, the internet, Twitter, Facebook, social media, this is why it's exploding like it is. It's not because it's that time that it's time for it to explode. It's more the whole social media side of it. That is why it is exploding how it is, because I'm sorry, and I don't mean to burst anybody's fucking bubble here. But we have these amazing cell phones, yeah, with amazing video cameras. I don't actually think we're getting much footage. People are like, oh yeah, the reason why we're seeing so much of it is because people have got cell phones and uh, they're amazing cameras, blah, 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 blah. And we're getting loads of amazing footage. No, we're not. It's not that much. There really isn't that much. And I've actually photographed a UFO before, and I will talk about it probably one day, and I have it on my hard drive, but it's a little tiny piddly thing in the background, but I know what I saw at the time. And they're fucking hard to film on these things, really hard. Now, you can believe that or not, but I ain't a bullshit, like some. Yeah, 
So you would expect with the amount of mobile phones, smart mobile phones that are out there, amazing HD footage that you would have something concrete by now. And we don't. Now, if you were a alien species and you were there to observe planets and what have you, and you can travel the speed of light, way, way beyond the speed of light, or you can bend space, whatever, I'm pretty sure you would have the ability of camouflage. So, that is probably why we're not seeing much. If that's what it is. And I say if. Because I, I am not going to preach just because I'm an alien addict. It's because I'm addicted to the subject. It doesn't mean to say that I am, oh, going to preach every single bit of alien evidence to you and say, oh, this is what it is. This is definitely what it is. Um, Buzz saw bloody UFOs going to the moon and coming back or whatever, you know. It, things that have been stated, I think we read into things too much. I sometimes read into things too much, but then I, you know, I'm going to step back and think. Have a little think, a little bit of a breather, maybe another coffee, and look into it a little bit more, a little bit further. Now, it's extremely hard for me to look into it and I'll tell you why because I'm extremely dyslexic so reading an article and coming up with a video like this for you for me my it's my biggest interest but I think I owe it to you to sit and get headache reading it because I can read um, but it's easy for anybody to miss things if you don't look into it further so yes the daily bra did put out a story that for me doesn't have enough evidence to back it up, it's just been pulled from nowhere but then a load of other channels news channels slate them saying what a load of shit, these two guys are dead so how could they have been lie detected it doesn't say that they've physically done it it states their voices. It's the Institute of Bioacoustics, right? Now, this company carried out a complex computer analysis of the astronauts' voice patterns as they told their close encounters. It's not anything to do with an actual However, a lie detector works. I think it's your pulse and what have you. Now, I kind of get that, that because you will know when you see a uh, another YouTuber or anybody in a documentary, if you feel like they're lying to you, you get a feeling for the fact that they're lying to you because as humans, we're quite good at that. I, what game, what computer game was that? That was the first one that you could see the emotions as well. That was that, that L.A. Noir, that Rockstar game, yeah? I don't really play computer games anymore. I don't have time for computer games, I'm fine. I do enjoy it though. But yeah, you could read the voices, the way they acted. You could see their uh, expression, expressions on their faces. And you would do your detective work on the back of that. So this computer this um, lie detector computer is hearing in the voice the patterns. That's pretty clever. And it's also scary. But, you know, the stating that the, the FBI could do with something like this in the future. When you read something or see something, me, anybody out there, you've got to think, Okay, let's have a look at the source that they got that from in the first place. Let's see where they're going with this. So he's just debunked that. Brilliant. Well done, mate. You fucking debunked it. What made you debunk it? How did you get there? How did you become this big UFO channel, this big debunker, whatever? You know... Everybody wants to be right. 
We do. We're human. We're arrogant. We like to be right. I like to be right. I don't like to be wrong. But if I am wrong, I'll say, yeah, fucking wrong about that. You're bullshit. If you go down the list of my channel and you look at the stuff that I first started out with, then you'll see that I was addicted to the planet Mars. And like, I probably had a bit of pareidolia. Somebody has stole my skeleton. Saying that though, it, it was some, I found some awesome shit on that planet. This looks like a penguin. Put two and two together and came up with 33. Yeah. So, all I'm saying to you is, when you read something, one, have a good look into it. Two, if it's something, send it to me. Tweet me. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's bloody interesting. It's getting interesting. But you've got to remember and remember this alone. The day and age we live in is very much the social media age. So this subject is... Oh, it will just keep firing and keep firing and keep firing. Because whoever's makes up one story, somebody else makes up another story and it has that domino effect but as the dominoes are falling over they're gaining more dots you know the domino dots they're gaining more of those because people expand on lies and people expand on truth so where am I going with this? I don't know anyway you know what I mean don't you? Everyone's a bullshitter. Good night, God bless. Mind the bugs, don't bite. I'm Alien Addict. Subscribe, like, and share my bollocks.